हेलो गाइस माय सेल्फ अमृता वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टेक्नो सीज सो इन द टॉप इंटरव्यू 150 क्वेश्चन सीरीज टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम नंबर 67 दैट इज ऐड बाइनरी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड गिवन टू बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग्स ए एंड बी रिटर्न देयर सम एज अ बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग सो इन द एग्जांपल यू कैन सी वी हैव बीन गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग्स वन इज ए एंड अनदर वन इज बी वी नीड टू सम बोथ द स्ट्रिंग्स एंड वी नीड टू रिटर्न द सम एज अ बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग so let's understand how we are going to solve this problem so we have two strings one is a that is 1 1 and another one is b that is 1 we have to return their sum as a binary string so if you don't know how we add the binary numbers binary numbers are in the form of zero and ones so zero plus one is one and carry is zero one plus zero is One. So in this case also, carry is zero. Zero plus one is one. Carry is zero. But when it's one plus one, the value is zero and carry is one. Right. So in this case, if you see here, we have to sum one one and one. Right. So one plus one is zero. Right. With the carry of one. Correct. Now again, one plus one is zero. The carry as one, correct? So here you can write zero, 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 right? So here we have only one, so we can append one here. So this would be your sum, right? So if you see here carefully, what we are doing? How we are doing sum? Sum is basically, let's say this is your i. so what would be your sum that would be a of i plus b of i plus carry correct so initially there is there won't be any carry so initially what we are going to do we are going to take carry as zero right so now if you sum both the numbers mathematically 0 plus 1 would be 1 1 plus 0 would be 1 0 plus 1 would be 1 so these three are fine but when you sum 1 plus 1 so mathematically 1 plus 1 is 2 but you want the sum as binary right so in this case what should be your value value should be 0 and carry should be 1 how you will achieve that so this is your sum right so can we do sum mod 2 for value right sum mod 2 that would be 2 mod 2 Two mod two would be zero, right? So your value would be sum mod two, which would be zero. And how you will achieve the carry? Carry would be now sum is two, sum is two. How you will get carry as one? That would be sum divide by two, right? If you divide two by two, you will get one. So these two are the steps to get the value and carry in the form of binaries. this would be applicable in all the four cases so value would be your sum mod 2 and carry would be your sum divide by 2 this is how you will get your value and carry now let's write the program for it so this is our class that is add binary now we are going to write the method that would be public static add binary and your input would be two strings one is a and another one is string b and what would be your return type that would be your string so now we need to save the output somewhere right so to save the output we are going to take string builder because we have to return the output as a string right sb is equal to new string builder correct so now here you see we need two pointers one for a and another one for b so let's take two pointers one would be i which would be a dot length minus 1 because we are going to start our pointer from the right side and j would be your b dot length minus 1 correct and we need to initialize our carry as 0 now let's write the loop loop would be while i is greater than equals to 0 or j greater than equals to 0 or carry is equal to 1 so that means either you have a number present in a or in b 
now here you can see we don't have number in a or b but carry is one so still we have to do the sum so three conditions either i is greater than equal to zero or j is greater than equal to zero or carry is one we need to do the sum and then what would be your sum we will start our sum from the carry so in the first case both would be zero carry also would be zero and sum would be zero right and then what would be your first condition if i is greater than equal to zero you are going to add that number to your sum right so now you can see here so this is your string a and this is your string b you check this number is greater than equals to zero right so you are going to add that to your sum sum is zero carry is zero now this a is a string right this a is a string but you want this as number this one as number so that means you have to convert this character to integer this is a character so how to convert this character to integers let me show you so basically all the numbers all the numbers have character codes which helps us to convert your characters to integers here we have only two numbers 0 and 1 so 0 has character code 48 and 1 has 49 so how we use these character codes to convert character to integers so basically to find the integer value of 1 what we are going to say a dot character at i minus 0 so a dot character at i is 1 so character code of 1 minus 0 so which would be 49 minus 48 which would be 1 right so integer value of 1 is 1 so let's say you want to find the integer value of 0 so what that would be 0 minus 0 which would be 48 minus 48 which would be 0 right so this is the integer value of 0 and this is the integer value of 1 so this is how we need to find the integer value of characters so let's implement it in the program so if i is greater than equals to 0 we are going to add that to our sum correct sum plus a dot caret i minus 0 right and then we need to move to the next character to the left side right because we are running a reverse loop so we are going to say i minus minus correct similarly we are going to do it for the b as well if j is greater than equals to 0 then we are going to say sum is equal to sum plus b dot caret i Minus zero, which will give the integer value of the character, right? Sorry, caret j. And in this case also, we need to move to the left side, so it would be j minus minus, right? And at the end, we are going to append our sum into our string builder, so which would be s b dot append. And as I had told you, what would be your sum? Sum mod two. right and what would be your carry carry would be your sum divided by 2 and at the end you were going to return sb right but since we are moving from right to the left side so we need to reverse our sum to get the correct sum right and now since it is a string builder we need to convert it to string as well so this is how we need to write the program now let's go back to our main function and let's take our two inputs one is a11 and another one is b which is 1 and now let's write our print statement and then call our function add binary and the inputs are a comma b right now let's run the program and see the output so you can see here the output is correct which is 100 now let's test it with another example as well 1010 and 1011 let's run the program and see the output so you can see here so output is 10101 that is correct output so this is how we need to solve this problem now let's run it in the lead code as well i have already copied the code here let's run it 
So you can see here the code is accepted. Runtime is zero milliseconds, and we can submit the code. So the code is submitted successfully. I hope you understood the solution. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section, and also provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. Very soon, I'll be uploading all the codes in our Git as well. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more such videos.